Having unsettled and tethered our horses in one of the gullies on some coarse grass, we entered the overseer's hut, the interior of which was scarcely an improvement on its outward appearance. It consisted of three rooms, one of which was a store, in which were kept the flour, tea, sugar, meat cask, etc., of the establishment. Another was the bedroom of the overseer's female servant, whilst the principal apartment did Julia's kitchen, dining room, and overseer's bedroom, and was arranged in this way. On one side, and close to the fireplace, stood a rough bedstead, an opossum rug spread over, which concealed the bedclothes beneath. In the centre of the room was a large sea chest, which served as a table, and at the fireplace, which occupied the whole of one end of the building, and was almost as large as one of the smaller rooms, the supper was being cooked, to the no small increase of heat already excessive. Against the walls, around which were hung a pair or two of horse hobbles, a gun, stock whip, some tin dishes, pannikins, a rickety-looking glass, and other odds and ends appertaining to the gentle craft of squatting, were set three rough stools. In one of the walls of the hut there was an aperture of about a foot square, cut through the slabs as a window, before which was drawn on strings a little curtain of white calico. The outer door, which always stood open by day, was secured at night by a bar, and a couple of wool packs, nailed to the tie beams and reaching the ground, supplied the place of doors to the two smaller apartments.